Yeah, buddy. Hate to do it to y'all, man, but oh, you see it. It's just light work, man. I gotta, I gotta eat something in the morning. I gotta have my breakfast, but it's going down. What up, what up, what up? Robert here, Bella's Lawn Care, Bella's Junk Removal. Um, I just finished up a small mulching job. We had to uh, clean out the flower beds, clean around the crib myrtles, cut, cut all the excessive growth out and things of that nature and put down whatever mulch the customer supplied. Um, it wasn't enough to cover the whole section, but I did what I could. Um, I didn't film because the customer's home. This whole coronavirus issue going on, you know, a lot of customers are home right now, so we respect the privacy. Um, moving forward, I got a few lines to go do right now, so I am gonna get a little footage, most likely. Um, got a small surprise for y'all, you know. It was surprising for me that we were able to come across one and and get it. So, you know, I'll speak further on this issue moving forward. But, um, yeah, man, today's Thursday. I believe it's April the 2nd. Um, just trying to work, man. Just trying to keep the ball rolling. Um, I'm tired. I'm, you know, being solo is a... It's a mother effa, you know, so it sucks not being able to have somebody in the truck. And even though I could, you know, it, it, it's not more of the fact that we can. It's more of the fact that I'd hate to have somebody around not knowing where they've been. And, um, you know, I'm already risking myself. I got a three-year-old at home, you know, a seven-year-old, a nine-year-old, my wife, you know, my mother-in-law. And um, I'm already, my wife has to go to work. I have to go to work, so both of us being in and out the house already is enough. So having somebody else ride in the truck with me that I don't know, you know, where they've been and what they got going, you know, it's it's scary. So I try to stay safe, trying to keep the family safe, you know, as, as much as I can and play my part. So I guess I'm just going to be a tired one for the next, I don't know, weeks, days, months. Remaining remainder of the season. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen uh, We we still are not getting Any junk removal jobs not not from you know when I started the junk removal issue We were doing you know, we, we get our jobs from a third-party company. We never just Marketed the, the, the business to you know, so we never just picked up Customers on our own. So we're not doing any junk removal until further notice and um so that's about it trying to keep y'all updated get y'all all caught up man um my honda's in the shop my hrc 216 honda i had to take to the shop because something we ran over something with it and it, it bent the, the frame in the back and it, it knocked the the shaft piece that holds the um the plastic piece in the back out so we had to get that fixed and um so that's in the shop and uh i'm, I'm, I'm doing some on with a pretty cool mower man y'all gonna see it so stay tuned for the footage it's coming up next and uh while we're while we're while we're here man while i got y'all here just in case i don't come back on on the screen man hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the share button um, man, I appreciate every single subscriber. It ain't many right now, but to me, it's more than enough. And, you know, I know we're going to keep it going and keep it growing. So, here we go, man. Let's get it going. Bow!
All right, y'all, hopefully y'all can hear me with this mask on. Hey, let's take it off. Um, front is done. Problem with the back is, let me show y'all. Starting to rain, so cut the video off. Back gate. The 30 won't fit. And the 21 is in the shop. Oh. I'm gonna have to hold off on that one. Um, you should do this house and that house too, but you know how it goes. It happens. That's a big sucker. Get the giant out of there. So, got the front all cleaned up. I got two properties left and the cleanup, but I don't know how long it's gonna take before this rain comes down. The properties are fairly close together. So, try to make it, try to make it. It's getting windy out here. See the trees? It's getting windy. It's a little chilly. We're in North Texas. It's April. So, March, April, we get a lot of rain. Um, hopefully it don't hit us too bad to where we can't work, but we'll see. On to the next one. Bye, y'all. All right, y'all, real quick, man. It's a wrap for the day. Um, I left one property behind only because I'm going to be back in that area, hopefully tomorrow, if my 21 is ready, because I got to go back to do the backyard of the, the last one where the, where the 30 didn't fit. So with that being said, yes. The dealer told me it was a month and a half wait for the 30 to come back with the Kohler, but they love me so much. I mean, at least that's what I think. They called me the very next day. They told me they had one in stock to come get it. So there it is. Went and got it. Toro Turfmaster 30 HDX with the Kohler engine. So everybody saying they're no good, blah, 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 blah with the Kawi engine, the Kawasaki. We're gonna put it to the test with the Kohler engine. And I try to look up a lot of videos on, on you know, reviews and whatnot on that specific mo mower and um, I found nothing, a couple guys using them. I think really all the videos I saw were with the Kawasaki engine. So there hasn't been one with the Kohler. So I will be doing a review for that video for excuse me for that mower most likely tomorrow uh we got some rain coming in so i won't be it won't be a long day tomorrow so i have some time on my hands to to do a review um i got a couple properties that i've done already with it and i'll be using it again tomorrow i used it a little bit yesterday so um i kind of got some pros and cons about it that i like already um and i'll tell you what man you got to be something special to complain about the weight of these mowers, man. If, if, if you can't if you can't handle a mower like this, maybe you shouldn't be doing landscaping. Maybe you should be sitting in the office somewhere because, oh, man, if it's one thing that grinds my gears is when people talk about the weight of this equipment. Like, come on, man. You want power? You want power? It's, it's going to weigh a little bit. That's just what it is. And you'll never catch me. I'm sorry. No, no disrespect or no offense to, to none of the guys that run it, but... You will never see electrical units on a Bella's lawn care truck. 
We don't do that. I need power. It would always be gas. Unless for some reason, electrical units just surpass the power. I don't know. We won't be running into the electric, electric battery power, battery operator. Don't get me wrong. The Milwaukee's look nice and a lot of that stuff looks nice, but for, for work, I won't do it. Maybe for, for home, you know, for my own use, but not, not to run on a truck. So anyways, stay tuned for tomorrow, tomorrow's video. Um, I will be doing a review on the third, on the, on the Toro 30 and, um, and get some more footage of work. So. Um, like subscribe hit the uh, notification bell down here somewhere and um, as always it's going down